Okay, so about last night. Last night was, and probably one of the craziest nights for a lot of Montrealers lives. If you haven't seen already the main channel video I just posted about the Montreal Canadiens hockey win, go check that one out. Or wait, better yet, wait three minutes and then go check it out. Because in the next three minutes, I'm going to tell you why this was one of the craziest days ever. Yeah, what's... Tag on my shirt. I thought it was like a bug or something. Anyway, uh, so yesterday was this huge Quebec holiday called St. Jean-Baptiste Day. Happy St. Jean to any Quebecois who are watching. <laughs> It was also the day when the Montreal Canadiens hockey team had a chance to make it to the NHL Finals for the first time in 30 years. Now Montreal is a very long and proud hockey city. Like they've won the Stanley Cup championship more than any other city in the world. And yet for the last 30 years, you know, I think 28 years actually, since 1993, they've been in a historic drought. They haven't made it to the finals. This has not happened in a lot of Montrealers' lifetime. And so just imagine, you have a chance to break this curse, to finally end this 28-year drought, and you have a chance to do it on this Quebec holiday. I mean, it's just, it was like the universe had aligned to make this possible. And Montreal won, and I was downtown. They won in overtime, which means the game was tied two to two, and it went to extra time, and it was just like, this is like a movie script. What ex we experienced last night in the city. Uh, there was some rioting, there was some crazy, I mean, I'll save it for the video. Go watch that video and you'll see everything that happened. But today's video is more of a little update. Just to share an insight that I got yesterday, which is that timing is key. Timing is the key, not just to YouTube, but really to a lot of life when you think about it. Timing is the reason that I pulled an all-nighter last night. I was up past 5 a.m. editing my video to get it done on my main channel so that when most normal people with normal jobs and normal lives wake up in the morning, they will see my YouTube video showing the night before. Does that mean it was like a quick and dirty edit? Yeah, of course. Like, it could have been better. I could have spent a week editing that video and it would have been a little bit better. But... A week from now, there's going to be some other hockey game that people care about, or there's going to be some other riot that people want to watch, and no one's going to want to watch the game that I filmed. And so that's the meaning behind timing is key. You sometimes need to realize that it's not just about the content you're putting out. It's about realizing what society wants to watch at a certain moment in time. I posted that video less than 10 hours ago. It already has 5,000 views, and most of those viewers are not my subscribers. Most of those viewers actually found the video through YouTube search, which means they were searching for Montreal uh, Canadiens hockey win or something like that, and they found my video. So any new YouTuber out there in Montreal could have made that same video. Uh, it, just takes, it just takes an understanding of that bit of timing, and also it takes, uh, I guess, a certain amount of craziness to stay up all night because uh, I'm definitely feeling it a bit today, hence the black sunglasses. I've also been watching a bunch of old Casey Neistat videos recently. I woke up this morning and I was like, what is that feeling? And I realized, no dollar pizza today. I'm just and of course Casey's always done the black sunglasses thing, so I guess I kind of am ripping him off. But I'm also slightly tired and hungover as well, so I do have an excuse. By the way, I'm also filming this video on my little camera. This is my Sony ZV-1. I actually don't film with this camera very often because it's not as stable as my Osmo Action camera that I sometimes do my walk and talks on. But I used this one for the video last night and I think the footage turned out pretty cool. Like it's got a pretty decent mic just built into this camera. And like this is how it looks if I'm holding it fully out with my arm. And I mean it's not as steady as some of my shots but it's, how, what do you guys think? Is this usable? Does it sound okay? Does it look okay? Leave a comment, let me know. Anyway, I'm just wandering around this random 
parking lot looking like a crazy person. But uh, let me just end by saying once again, have a very happy St. Jean Baptiste Day. I mean, technically it's already over. It was yesterday, but <laughs> hope you guys had a good one. I know if you're a hockey fan, you had a good one. And for me, it was an important reminder of how timing is key. Sometimes in life, it's not just what you're doing. It's when you're doing it. So, uh, was that a deep insight or is that just kind of an obvious thing to say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just excited. I wanted to film. I wanted to test my new camera. I wanted to wave this flag around in an empty parking lot. So, see you next time.